what I have here is a problem involving a hydrated salt and in this case it's hydrated uh, BaCl2 which I think is barium chloride and what I've been given here is a percentage by mass of the water and so I need to find the formula of the hydrated salt so hydrated BACO2 contains 14.74% H2O by mass. Find the formula of the hydrated salt. So this is slightly different from the last question. And it's comparable to the questions I did on finding out the molar mass, well, the relative atomic mass from, from given percentage abundances by mass. And so the first thing I'm going to do here is assume that the sample which I'm going to calculate it from is 100, weighs 100 grams in total. And if it weighs 100 grams in total, that means in that sample, I'm going to have 14.74 grams of H2O. So 14.74 grams of, of H2O. And that also means that my mass of uh, BACO2 is going to be um, 100 minus 14.74, which is equal to 100 minus 14.74, 6 85.26. And so this would be the mass of BACO2 in this hydrated compound, this hydrated uh, salt. And so this is a mass of uh, BACO2. And now what I need to do is find the molar ratio. And this ratio I can get now by working out the number of moles of each of these. And so first I need to divide the 14.74 by the molar mass of water, which we know to be 16 plus 2, which is 18. And so we divide this by 18. And when we divide this by 18, we get, therefore, N is equal to... zero point eight one nine zero point eight one nine and this would be in moles moles now we can do the same for this but we need to work out the molar mass of barium chloride first and so we can do that with the periodic table so we need to add the relative atomic mass of barium so where is that? B A. There we go. One hundred thirty-seven point three. So one hundred thirty-seven point three, and then we add this to two times the relative atomic mass of chlorine, which I think is thirty-five point five. Yep. And this gives us this gives us two hundred and eight point three. And now we have the molar mass of the barium chloride is 208.3 and so now what I need to do is divide the mass which I have here by the molar mass which I have here using number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass and so the molar mass I get from I mean the number of moles I get from dividing 85.26 by 208.3 
is zero point four one. 0 0.41 now this is the barium chloride and in the formula of a hydrated salt the formula would usually be represented in the form BACL2 and then there'll be a dot here and then we'd have X we don't know X yet and then X and then we'd have H2O and because of that I'm going to take this which is the number of moles of Barium, the barium chloride in 100 grams and this is the number of moles of H2O in 100 grams I'm going to put the barium chloride moles on this side like this so I'm going to put here 0 0.41 and the moles of water H2O I'm going to put on this side so 0 0.819 and now what I'm going to do is divide both values by 0 0.41 so that the number of moles on this side will be equal to 1 so it can be in the form 1 to um, x, h, x and then we can find x here so if I divide this by 0 0.41 obviously we'd get 1 because we're dividing it by itself but this when we divide 0 0.819 by 0 0.41 0 0.819 divided by 0 0.41 we get 1.997 1.998 and so what we need to do now is round this to the nearest whole number and so this rounded would be uh, would produce a ratio of 1 to 2 of 1 to 2 and therefore x is equal to 2 because now it's in the ratio 1 the 1 is here but it's invisible now it's in the ratio 1 to um, x and x is 2 so the formula it's asked us to find the formula of the hydrated so the formula would be let me do this in, in, in light blue would be BACL2 and then 2 H2O and this would be our formula so x equals 2.5 